What up folks, welcome back to Ultra Zilla Toys and today I have a review of the SH Figure Arts Infinity War Thanos. Alright gang, welcome to part two of our three part Thanos quest in which we will uh, find out who is the better Thanos. Is it the SH Figure Arts or is it the New Marvel Legends, Thanos. <laughs> uh, here they are together in this video just to show you a size comparison and that's all we're gonna do here. I'm gonna do a separate video comparing the two. But let's take a look at this Thanos, shall we? Starting with his accessories, we got a couple extra hands here. You got a more, I got three extra hands, but this one's a little special. Standard open hand, absolutely no shading on it, just a purple, very light purple. Uh, I'm gonna say the sculpt is kind of soft on it. Uh, then you got a more gripping hand, you can make out all the fingernails and stuff. Again, no shading, no nothing, it's a little soft. But you do get a nice finger snapping hand, um, you know, blinking everybody, well, half the population out of existence. I dig it. I dig that they did this. This is cool. Uh, again, wish there was a little bit of something here. <laughs> you know, like a little, little bit of a wash, something. Um, I don't know what's up with this seam line there. That's pretty ugly. What are you going to do? Uh, I do like that we got it. You know, I think that's pretty cool. And let's give it a, give it a, give it a look, see how it looks on him, shall we? Yeah. So, I don't know, it looks good. Definitely. Then he comes with a couple extra heads and he's got this like smirky, smiley head. This is basically the same, which is, this is funny. Um, this is basically the same head that came with the the Marvel Legends build a figure version of Thanos, um, which the new one in the three pack is the same with like some tweaks to all the coloring and the the uh, it's got two alternate heads. So this is basically what you got with that one. Now uh, I actually have that one on eBay right now, <laughs> and I don't have it here, but it was a much darker purple. Uh, this is really nice. I dig it. The eyes look pretty decent there. There's some nice wash on his face, which is nice. It brings out all the detail, especially on his chin. That looks good. So I dig it a lot. Very nice. Very nice head. Then he's got, you know, my favorite growling Thanos head. Gritted teeth. Really looks good. You see the gums in there and everything. So I like this a lot. The nostrils look good, nicely painted. The eyes are painted well. It's got all the same shading. I dig it. All the sculpt work, you know, it's the digital painting it looks really good. I'm gonna switch heads here. We'll look at that other head. I really, this is this is my preferred head for a Thanos anyway. Um, that head, the regular head, is really nice as well. Uh, I dig that. I think the eyes might be just slightly off, but it's so hard to say sometimes with the digital painting because they make the eyes glossy. I mean, the Marvel Legends are a little less glossy, but well, a little more glossy actually. Um, but I'm having hard. I feel like the eyes are lit just slightly off on this one. What do you guys think? But otherwise, it looks really good. The, the look on his face looks nice. Uh, all the texture is beautiful. So, really nicely done. You can see, though, on this one where the digital printing stops. So, <laughs> like, it's like almost like a, an actual line there. Now, we get a couple of extra infinity gauntlet hands. We got a really nice open hand. This is like a brand new shiny infinity gauntlet 
This is a brand new shiny Thanos in general. Um, it's a much different look than the Marvel Legends. You got it's a really nice gold here, and all the stones are beautiful. Uh, they look really well done. So I I like it. They're all like clear plastic, and that looks nice. They really look like gems. So. Well done. Well done. Really great sculpt. Looks good. You have it in the um, like more grippy hand. That looks good. The power hand. Uh, I really like how this one looks because I like how the armor looks like on the uh, right below the gems. It looks like it's going inwards there. So it gives it like a more articulated finger type of feel even though it's not and that's mostly just because this top piece is glued on uh, but it just looks good I think that adds to it a lot it's really nice sculpt really looks good all the gems again look great so awesome there and that's all his accessories so let's take a look at this guy himself we saw all the heads which is good uh, the rest of it's very 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 clean um, and I don't know if there's any wash on this at all, um, but it's clean. Like all this gold looks really good. There's no, there's no design here. There's no texturing, nothing. Um, just clean black gold, a little bit of gray, and then you got the texture here on the back. And the sculpt is really nice. And again, painting is all clean on that. Looks good. Belt looks good. This part looks nice. It's much smaller than the Marvel Legends as well, as we'll see in the next video. Uh, and it's a soft plastic, but it looks really nice, uh, nicely done. The pants have a really nice texture as well, I dig that. I like his knee pads a lot, all painted well. And then the rest of it is this like kind of warm, dark, dark, warm gray. Like if you know what a warm gray is, that's what it looks like. <laughs> it's not black. But it looks really good and the sculpt work is very nicely done. Um, the rest of his, his, his like exposed arms have absolutely no paint on it. It is what it is. Uh, is there paint back here? Nah, it is not. So nothing there whatsoever. Which is interesting, is what it is. Now, articulation on this guy, you got a neck joint, which is good. You got a nice head is on a ball joint, and it moves there on a hinge as well. So you get some good range of motion in this head. This then tends to get like caught in his collarbone a little bit, but it's not so bad. The diaphragm joint is a little tight, but it moves well enough once you start freeing it up. The waist is really tight, so there's that. <laughs> Excuse me there, shift in my chair. Then you got a butterfly joint, which is great. So you get a good range of motion if he wants to snap his fingers around his chest there, you can do so. And then it's a ball joint on each side there, which is good. And the hinge as well. So you get a really great range of motion in his shoulders. Um, no bicep swivel or anything, um, but you do get a double jointed elbow which is kind of hindered and then you have hinge swivel at the wrist same thing here which gives you a lot of free motion oh that didn't really show you the the rest of the infinity gauntlet all gold just right off the assembly line <laughs> Um, it looks good though, but there's like no wash on it or anything. So, but it's it's different. It's definitely different. You could do this much splits. Oh, and see, this is one problem I've been having is his legs. There we go. It seems to pop out, but like they hang there. It's it's a little unnerving. Feels like it's broken each time. Splits about that much. Kicks about that much. Goes back. Yeah, not really. And you got a uh, rotation inside the thigh there. You got a double. You got, do you have a double jointed knee? 
Yeah, it's really single joint, honestly. On the knee. And then you have a little bit of rocker and a hinge, and you do get a foot articulation. So it's really good articulation, but there's some points that I'm surprised aren't there. You know, like I could use a bicep swivel or, you know, more in his legs, but he is pretty bulky, so there's that. But this is definitely an interesting release because it does, you know, make you think, why did I pay more for this guy than <laughs> the full, th you know, set of Marvel Legends? And it's not, maybe it's not like 100% obvious, but it's like super clean. And the thing I like about this is it feels different. There's a really like nice quality to it. And I mean, you get that from most figure arts, you know, like they just, they just feel different, you know, like, yeah, it's just a different type of plastic. And the weight is different, distributed differently. It's, I don't know, something about it. Um, once you really start playing around with these guys, and I, I mean, obviously I have from like many different lines, um, it's just something good about it. And I haven't really gone in uh, to the figure arts like Avengers line at all, except, you know, for this and uh, Tony Stark. Um, and Tony Stark was a gift, actually. So, but I really wanted this guy. I just felt like this was going to be really a good figure, and I really like it. I know I'm saying, like, stuff like, you know, like, it doesn't have enough shading and stuff, and it doesn't. It doesn't have any shading uh, in the body except for the heads, um, but at the same time, I'm fine with it. Like, I really like this a lot. It's, it's, it's so, it's different, um, but something about it, guys, it's just... I mean, I don't know if you can see what I'm I'm feeling, um, but there's something about it that I just really, really like a lot. So, anyway, let's do some other size comparisons here. We're, we're, we're pretty much done with this review. Here's the Hulk. Here's the Hulk Buster. Soon to be a review, soon to be a review. And uh, let's see who else we got. We got uh, Raphael. If he wants to stand. We got Psycho Silver Ranger. A couple of the uh, SDCC exclusives there. We got Tiger Mask. And what do we got here? Oh, we, we got Falcon. So you can see how Marvel Legends there fares with him. I still think that's pretty, pretty good. His, his Winter Soldier. That isn't bad, you know. Like that's not, that's not terrible scaling in my opinion. Yeah, here's, here's Cap. You know, it's it's doable, I think. Um, but yeah, that's. Uh, how about this guy? Because we, I just, I really want, <laughs> I just I really want Silver Surfer in the next movie. That'd be, that'd be great. Can we do that? I know, I said that before too, in the last review. But there you go, guys. That's my review for the SH Figure Arts Thanos. I, I really like it despite it feeling a little plain, you know. Um, it doesn't feel underwhelming. You know, like it's, it has a great presence. I really like the proportions on this one. He's slender. Um, he just looks good, you know. Like I don't know, something about it. It's just a good-looking figure, um, and I hope it comes across in on film as much as it does in person. All right, guys, and that's it. That's my review for this figure. Uh, stay tuned. I will be doing the face-off video. Which one do I like better? You know, comparing, contrasting them completely. So stay tuned for that if you're into videos like that. I didn't want to make it this video, I just thought, or the last video, I just thought these figures uh, deserved their own reviews and then, you know, we'll do like a, 
you know, a third, re it's kind of a review, more of a comparison little video uh, between them, you know, because it's just the timing of them coming out is the same. There's a lot of people that love figure arts. There's a lot of people that swear by Marvel Legends. So let's give it a go. All right, so stay tuned for that one. And please like, comment, subscribe, click the bell, and share. And until next time, peace out, peeps.